Hello and welcome back to the TorontoWebsiteDeveloper.com. I am Peter Jaworski, the Toronto Website Developer. And in this video tutorial, I want to introduce you to um, um, a cross-site scripting um, potential hack. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, this was publicly disclosed um, a vulnerability from Yahoo Mail, where you could enter in some malformed HTML, which the Yahoo editor would then, um, I guess, fix, and then a browser would interpret, uh, and as a result, you could inject JavaScript into uh, Yahoo Mail. Um, this was disclosed on Hacker One. I found it when I was doing research for How to Become a White Hat Hacker, a book that I'm writing, uh, which will break down some examples based on public disclosures and teach you how to get into the bug bounty program um, and start submitting vulnerabilities. Um, so this is a first uh, video tutorial in what I hope is a long series uh, looking at these types of vulnerabilities. So with that, um, we're going to be using Shopify as an example. Now, um, Shopify allows you to inject your own uh, JavaScript onto your own store products and, and what have you. And so I learned the hard way when I publicly disclosed to them that, hey, um, I guess it wasn't public. I privately disclosed to them, hey, you can inject JavaScript onto your own store. And they said, yeah, we know um, it's part of our do not report. So I let them know that I was going to publicly disclose it. And as a result, this is a video tutorial for that. Um, so I'll close up how to become a white hat hacker just before we go on dailylearners.com. It's a website that I'm a lead developer for. Uh, we just released our pre beta where we're testing out the site. Really the idea is you come here, uh, as you learn different things, you teach yourself, type it out in your own words. Uh, you can quiz yourself anytime and you can also follow and learn along with other people, um, uh, depending upon what they're learning. So if you want to learn along with me, as I'm doing this, you could join daily learns, um, and follow me. Uh, that said, beta is not open right yet, but if you're interested, fill out your name, we'll email you and let you know. As I mentioned, I'm at my Shopify site. Here's the end goal. So if we go to my product, you'll see right away, here's a nice JavaScript pop-up with XSS. And so uh, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So I'm in my administration uh, section of my store, and here I've got my product. And I'm going to paste in the HTML. I'm going to walk you through what this is and what actually happens to it. So... We have an image tag. Don't worry about the source. I'm just grabbing uh, a file. It's not that you can grab any file you want. So here I've got ismap. Ismap is a Boolean attribute from H2L5. Uh, don't worry about what it does. It's just really what you need to know is it's a flag, true or false. And so um, browsers will interpret uh, no value on it as being false. Whereas if you got a value, it's true. So um, actually, this is the, the proper HTML. I want to show you the broken HTML. I'm sorry. I'm just going to change this to on load. Um, so as I mentioned, as map boolean or is map boolean. And so what I've done is I've just opened it. Um, and I shouldn't say I. Th this was taken from public disclosure. I didn't come up with this. Um, I'm using the HTML that was submitted uh, from that public disclosure. So is map open quote, and then there's a space. And so what will happen here is the editor will interpret all of this as being um, part of is map. And so item type gets ripped out. Uh, you'll see, and then yyy becomes its own Boolean attribute. Uh, you'll see that as well. And then as a result, it will parse the style and add that as an attribute. I'm just going to take this out because it gets obnoxious. And then what's left is this on load uh, JavaScript. So all of that gets interpreted, uh, fixed up, and then the browser can render it properly. And so if I close my, uh, my editor from HTML and I go back to show uh, HTML, you'll see there's the image. Uh, it's harmless here on my admin site. I can't hover over it. Unload doesn't actually execute. Uh, and if you're curious about that, you can actually inspect the element. And you can see that the script is actually a data MCE, tiny MCE, uh, on load. And so that's why it's not being executed right away. Um, just a sidebar there, because I wanted to show you how you could do that on your admin store, but you can't. Um, so if you go to show HTML, you see here just what I was talking about. Is map becomes is map in quotes. YYY becomes its own Boolean attribute, just empty string. Um, style gets uh, added as its own proper uh, attribute, and then you have on load. And the on load is a JavaScript uh, tag, which gets executed. So when we save this, uh, there's nothing to save because I've, I guess I've already done this. Um, and you come back here, you reload your page, uh, and there's your JavaScript that gets immediately executed on load. Uh, and if you, you look at this, you can see just what we saw before, but it's not tiny MCE. Now it's an actual on load tag. Um, and yeah, there's our style, there's our YYY, there's our is map, um, which is a little bit different from what we saw, but doesn't really matter. Either way, it gets wiped out. Um, 
and that's how we can get some cross-site scripting. Um, so again, I would say try this out when you're looking for different vulnerabilities. Um, I've used HackerOne to disclose. Um, there are other platforms. Uh, some companies just do their own. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Uh, if it helped you, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel uh, and buy the book. So we'll see you for the next video tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.